Hello everyone and now welcome to a game between PCG123 versus Colorful. This game taking place here on, well, Echo Isles as the game, well, freezes up on me for really no apparent reason. Anyways, let's go ahead and break things down. Also, the assets did not load properly. Don't know why. Um, probably because it there were no observers in the game and thereby making it a little bit strange and difficult. Anyways, let's go ahead and break things down in this 1v1 matchup. It is going to be Undead versus Night Elf <coughs> in, the, in this 1v1 matchup as things are getting underway. As I open things up, let's see what these players are going to be trying to go, what information we can glean as we are looking at the early openings. Altar of Elders, Moonwell, and Ancient of War pretty much indicating that it's going to be um, well, at least a Night Elf hero coming in from the early, early stages here. Let's take a look. I'm trying to confirm something real fast. And it is, in fact, okay, who? Oh, it, there it goes. Blue is, in fact, the other color. So I'm going to go ahead and try and swap the colors here. There we go. So blue is going to be colorful. PCG123 is actually red. As we are going to be going into a Death Knight versus Demon Hunter matchup. <coughs> Death Knight versus Demon Hunter, a standard classic matchup here. We, we also have seen the Wisp um, technique where one single Wisp hides right here. And because there's only one tree in this location, an archer from this side here can in fact actually take out the ogre magi without um, getting pressured um, by any of the other units those trees or those units actually have line of sight issues and are unable to attack past the trees thereby allowing the archer to deal a large amount of damage <coughs> huh. excuse me Demon Hunter now making its way back out. Gonna go ahead and finish off these Ogre Warriors here very quickly. Gonna pick up a Circlet of Nobility. Finishing off that last unit there as the Demon Hunter now switches back away. We are gonna be going Death Knight into Ghouls with a Sacrificial Skull selling that Scroll of Town Portal for what appears to be a very fast expansion. The es Essence of Blight allows for those units to be able to regenerate while on Blight here, but a couple of ensnares slowing down the entire efforts as the Demon Hunter now going to be making its way over. Demon Hunter, and let's go ahead and take a look at well, Ogre Magi right there. Death Knight, Death Coil trying to save Skeletal Minions now making their way over as we are going to be looking at the Demon Hunter trying to take down the Ziggurat. Ziggurat down to 95. Oh, there goes a single unit there as a Trapper finishes it off. Ziggurat down to 72 hit points. It will get taken down. Resummoning up a Ziggurat once more. There's the detonation. And let's take a look at this. The Ziggurat down to 44 hit points, down to 40. There's the Ogre Magi. And well, what is this Acolyte really hoping to do? Death Knight now trying to summon up some more skeletal minions. Let's take a look. It looks as though the Acolyte will get taken down. Resummons up a Ziggurat once more. Just trying to get Blight off over here as the Demon Hunter going to be making its way over. I believe that was cancel late. Cancel. What was that? Dust of Appearance for? Oh, the Archer was going to try and Shadow Meld. A Death Knight now trying to catch up as the Death Knight is not going to be able to catch up to that Archer very easily as the Demon Hunter should be able to get right in front of it, causing some padding situations. And, well, the hero, the leader, taking some for the team in order to keep the rest of the team alive. Are we going to see a tech to tier 2? No, we are not. Are we getting an additional acolyte making its way down? No, we are not either. So, this is a little bit strange and confusing right now, as the tech to tier 2 should have already begun, or at least tried... Oh, there is the haunting of that gold mine, difficult to spot on the minimap. All right. Let's take a look. Acolyte, or well, Murlocs now making their way over. Death Knight needs to get a little bit more mana going um, in order to well get some more death coils. Meanwhile, the Demon Hunter now having boots of speed, opting to go after the Ogre Magi Creep Camp here. Tech to Tier Two is already halfway done for Colorful, as the Death Knight, well, is going to be by his lonesome self until we get to Tier Two and see that second hero. Now, Undead is not known for fast expansions. Well, as of in, in, in the, over the history of the game, but with the most recent patches, fast expansions have become a very, very popular strategy. 
Death Knight now making its way back off to the north here. Acolytes now going to be shifting down as well. Let's take a look. Ghouls are being shifted back over as well. And that is a lot of ghouls being shifted over we are going to be looking at the demon hunter with boots of speed trying to get into position we are almost done on that haunted gold mine the ghouls are right here ready to go and there you go they're going to go ahead and engage demon hunter units all back on blight let's take a look are we going to get a mana burn haunted gold mine down to 845 hit points and climbing and i believe the demon hunter realizes that he cannot stick around in this spot more and more acolytes need to be trained up but that is going to further delay tier two and what we may end up seeing is a panda coming in from the tavern to handle all of those early early ghouls panda is going to be trained up here for that breath of fire and well all of these low all of these well sub 350 hit point units are going to be taking damage you can see that breath of fire the animation was not loaded but damage was still done there is a detonation followed by a mana burn tree of life is going to be going down here as the low hit point ghoul going to force a retreat once more low hit point ghoul going to get taken out the number of archers is able to pelt down far too much damage there goes another as the demon hunter sits at level two just shy of three demon hunter still making its way over death coil to heal that low hit point unit once more death knight going to take one for the team as well he does not have boots of speed however but with that unholy aura still able to catch up a good amount the ghouls however can't get too far in front of that death knight as the death knight does have unholy aura allowing these units to walk back even faster we are going to be back on blight acolytes are being transitioned down one nerubian tower as the tech to tier two just now getting started as we are just now transitioning into the graveyard and perhaps some crypt fiends ancient of lores are currently in play the demon hunter does not want to try and engage back on blight oh what's this a lot of arrows gonna go ahead and pelt down that death knight death knight wants to cause some problems onto this tree of life he wants to keep his economic advantage for as long as he can knowing that he is behind tech um, in terms of tech not having that second hero is costing him dearly as that panda with breath of fire would easily blow over and make it easier to focus fire with those archers are four archers um well with a round of with a round of focus fire dealing so much damage dust of appearance on that death knight death knight now trying to slip away he did pick up a potion of invisibility but is still currently revealed at this point and stage in the game <coughs> death knight now making its way over perhaps going to spot this tree of life does he have a rod of necromancy he does he could have attacked the raccoon gotten some additional skeletal minions out death knight now making its way back over perhaps going to try and steal some experience there you go is he going to get the last shot oh no he does not pick up the wand of lightning shield as we're going to see the staff of teleportation right there so much missing oh there is the steel right there level three on that death knight as the death knight now slips away ghouls are now retreating back there is a t manual of health and gloves of haste being left behind as we are now going to go ahead and entangle this gold mine here all right oh uh, what what was that about a, a thousand gold difference so far necropolis coming in as well demon hunter going to be shifting back over death knight doesn't pick up any of the items though as well we should be looking at a lich with that gloves of haste that is incredibly important is the demon hunter going to spot this item no it does not look like it not quite yet demon hunter going to go ahead and come across here and say oh thank you very much pick up that item there's still a manual of health but hey who needs health in this game or who reads panda gonna go ahead and well get to level two most likely gonna pick up um well has to pick up drunken brawler or um drunken haze we'll see what of the two it is going to be um drunken brawler perhaps working a little bit better as we are going to be transitioning away from um from ghouls there is still a lot of ghouls currently out onto the field and as the game goes longer and longer and as that panda gets stronger and stronger well that's gonna be that much worse for all of those ghouls the breath of fire dealing 140 damage pretty much um, re getting these ghouls down into sub 200 pretty much instantaneously followed by dryads and archers and focus fire that may become too much 
colorful now i'm gonna go ahead and try and find and take out this death knight again there's a death coil a little bit of damage done right there there goes the null poacher death knight is in serious trouble as pcg one two three needs to come up with a comeback strategy the demon hunter doing his best of just harassing and annoying the death knight while the panda is the one to get stronger and stronger all right, Panda still nearby here. So much damage to be had. Panda can easily engage against all of these units. Cobalt Tunnelers as we're just fighting away once more. There goes the Geomancer. This is all medium armor though, making it a little bit more difficult for these units to actually get taken down. Death Knight or oh, Demon Hunter now back across over here. Gargoyles in the air and Gargoyles are trying to cause problems, but with the number of archers and dryads, that just doesn't make that much sense. Also, the panda is out currently on the field as well. So level three or at level three, level two, Breath of Fire is already in play. And with level two, Breath of Fire, perhaps even a drunken haze can cause some serious problems as well. Demon Hunter only has one gloves of haze. He sold the remaining two dual gargoyles now into the air as we are looking at, well, no no third no second hero yet still no second hero being trained halls of the dead going to be going into black citadel here in just a moment and are we perhaps going to be trying to hire up a tavern hero still no sign of that yet 65 over 70 compared to 50 over 60 supply wise we are at a still a very commanding lead as there is about a 2000 gold difference between these two armies and gargoyles are still up in the air here let's take a look at this ring of regeneration as selling some items scroll of protection scrolls of healing potion of lesser and vulnerability gargoyles now going to be backing up again those gargoyles are upgraded to zero so 20 to 29 damage each and if they can focus down a single dryad well that will cause some problems but i believe the panda is just going to be far too strong with potions of mana but what is this a massive ghoul army as well all right so undead actually opting to go for a go wide strategy and with a go wide strategy like this well they perhaps they can overrun their opponent very quickly level four on the panda level three on the demon hunter death knight now well they're still wandering around here very fast movement speed as you can tell the ghouls do they have ghoul frenzy and it well, I would believe so, as more gargoyles are still getting trained up from one of the three crypts, as we could get into a surround here. All right, surround, evasion right there, demon hunter, potion of lesser invulnerability, or potion of invulnerability, just sticking around and saying the, the de oh, there's a drunken haze, there's the breath of fire, and so much damage to be had. Units are all right there. Death Knight has a whole bunch of, well, scrolls of healing to try and counteract all of that there. There's a rejuvenation, there's a bunch of abolish magic, and those dry did not have abolished magic turned off making it well stand still for a little while all right go into stone form and then up oh, surrounding the panda for a second now coming back up dealing massive damage once again death knight or gargoyles are actually just owning the dryads death knight is right here and massive damage with the gargoyles the sheer size of the army really playing a big big role another drunken haze here as the gargoyles are just going after the dryad to take them all down all right bears are having a very big problem as well panda could get an in a another breath of fire take down multiple units where are all of these low hip point ghouls going to go that is the big question as you can take a look breath of fire causing some serious problems again demon hunter now back in the action looking to join back in on the fight trying to finish off some of those units death knight sitting at level five where are all of those units going to be going next orb of venom really starting to eat away at some of those other units as well as the ghouls need to get back 53 supply compared to 38 units are now retreating once more we don't see any additional heroes as the gargoyles are all over here waiting to perhaps just heal back up gargoyle is now back 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 out again going after the tree of life and the high mobility of this army causing some serious problems panda is not making its way back down either meanwhile D death knight needs to get away are we going to get a death quail onto that gargoyle no we are not gargoyle ends up getting taken down trying to fight its way back not looking good meanwhile back down to the south this tree of life is going to get taken down no repairs as of yet not quite sure why as perhaps colorful was not aware that there's that much all right death knight should be up to level six now after that wisp kill as we are going to be going into a staff of teleportation to save back all of those low hip point units 57 supply compared to 44 right now 
we are looking at, well, still doubling down or tripling down on this particular strategy to two one upgrades no, and we are now getting into three one upgrades on that graveyard we are looking also at the demon hunter trying to chase back after all of those units gargoyles sitting at um well sitting strong with one armor and the panda if it gets to level five though level three breath of fire once again going to be causing even more issues wisp are repairing gargoyles are just trying to wander around here Death Knight right underneath level 3 Unholy Aura for even faster movement speed. As you're going to take a look, Death Coil saves right there as the Death Knight needs to get away. Slow Poison causing some serious problems, but you can see how fast that Death Knight is with level 3 Unholy Aura. And oftentimes um, people ask me why people, why doesn't the Death Knight go for um, its ultimate ability? Um, ultimately, uh, the 150 mana is better used for a, well, a what is that a 1200 hit point heal as well it's not in a situation where you can use it at the start of the battle to turn the tide it's in a situation where if you're already winning Research. you're gonna win more and if you're losing you can maybe catch up, but that's not in a situation where you want to fight anyways. Gargoyle is now going after the Entangled Goldmine. Back off to the north here. A Death Knight still trying to chase after some Dryads. Dryads going to get taken down very quick as the units are still backing up again. Staff of Preservation to well, retreat back that Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter sitting at level 3, but still a potent, potent threat. As well, that, that group of Gargoyles almost look like a building on the minimap. All right, we're also looking at 2,400 gold right now. 2,400 gold for the for the Night Elf player. He's just not training up enough. He's in low upkeep. He needs to get more Wisp out onto the field to train up more units. Having that much gold in, um, um well, having that much gold in the bank at this point, and um, while already being down 2,000 gold, already mined. That is absolutely huge. If you had, uh, if you if you're down four thousand gold overall, um, it is very difficult difficult to get back in, and it may be the reason why Colorful hasn't really reached enough traction yet. We are now going into Frost Worms from the Boneyard. Dryads are not upgraded very um, very well. As we're going to take a look, there goes one unit there. Let's take a look at Ancient of Wonders quickly taken down. Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire, and massive damage. Scroll of Protection, Scroll of Healing, trying to come back the other way. Gargoyles are now just dive bombing onto all of those Dryads once more, and those units are going to end up getting taken down. There goes another Dryad. Another Dryad could get taken down. Let's take a look. There goes another. There's another Breath of Fire, and it looks like more units just dove on into there all right let's take a look at this units going back every which way let's take panda sitting at level four death coil trying to save death knight sitting at level six right now could be able to go after some more dryads again split army control as the taunt now working there dryads desperately trying to run trying to get away death knight unable to catch up to any of his any of those leading leading units but as you can see the gargoyles with the air superiority able to catch up and it looks like colorful is going to end up having a very bad day again death knight now up to level seven level seven on those units let's take, just take down that retreating gargoyle or dryad right there all right battle now raging on staff of preservation should be coming in there it goes dryad gonna have a bad day again going after some units and there's a single frost worm causing problems the frost worm causing major problems scroll of town portal now being used in order to head back as well. <clears throat> All right, that was a desperation scroll of town portal. It wasn't able to teleport where it wanted to go. Colorful now needs to regroup as we see um, PCG 123 knocking on the door. All right, three, two gargoyles already in position. Let's take a look. Massive repairs already underway. Gargoyles are going to be able to finish off many units. Dryad's going to try to get in position, but they're going to end up, well, loading up Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire, Scroll of Protection, Scroll of Healing, all used pretty much instantaneously. The Death Knight using that gold very, very well as the Scroll of Protection um, giving those gargoyles nine armor, making them very difficult to take out for those dryads. All right, scroll of protection. Let's take a look. Panda is still trying to come back across. Death coil onto the demon hunter. Staff of preservation saves again. Anti magic potion would have saved a little bit. Dryads running through just a giant, giant kill box as those dryads and so many units could get taken down. There goes another dryad there. Death knight now up to level eight. 
Panda sitting at level 4, Demon Hunter sitting at level 3, and this is a scary, scary point at this point, at this stage in the game. 3-2 upgrades, as we're going to see that Panda now scroll of Town Portal back out. Are we getting, yes, 3-3 three, three Carapace upgrades, or armor upgrades, as well, so the Gargoyles can have up to 11 armor if a scroll of protection is once again used, and that may be, um, that may be the end of it here. Double scrolls constantly saving PCG 1, 2, 3. And even with the Panda's Breath of Fire, which I thought would have been the icing on the cake to just try and take out his opponent, not working out. Panda, let's take a look, doesn't have an Orb of Venom. There's the Drunken Harris. There's the Breath of Fire. They're going to go ahead, go back down, and get back up. Gargoyles able to just jump into the air, finishing off so many Dryads as they are still trying to retreat. Demon Hunter at level 4 now. Dryad gonna get finished off right there. You're gonna take a look. Forest Troll Berserker could try and fight their way out. Dryad's gonna get finished off here. We do have the Drunken Haze causing a little bit of problems. Oh, Death Coil shaken off by a scroll of Town Portal for temporary invulnerability. 76 supply compared to 43. The Gargoyles with massive damage, massive armor, 9 armor, so difficult to take out. And well, there's another drunken or another drunken haze breath of fire. The panda you would think would be able to do enough here, and this is still scary. The panda could still get some big drunken hazes breath of fires off if if there's not a scroll of healing. The demon hunt or the death knight now needs to go back. He knows he needs to retreat and perhaps get another scroll of protection or scroll of healing going. If this panda gets to level five and with the potion of mana, that still might be enough to really eat through a large chunk of this army in just a moment this is still anyone's game even though colorful is now down to 44 supply uh, actually this is pcg's game to lose and he is in dominant control but if he does not control these gargoyles correctly he can see this massive air force completely shot down or blown away by one or two breaths of fire let's take a look at this all right a single shade keeping track panda gonna come across are we gonna see a drunken haze here a drunken haze um let's take a look are we gonna see it no how come the panda isn't doing that drunken haze breath of fire gonna go ahead and come back down across panda now in trouble trying to head back didn't work as the panda is in serious trouble is he gonna be able to do very much he's trying to run away no staff of preservation panda scroll of town portal in order to get back out but this is just gonna open up well Free range hunting season on Dryads. Panda now back out again. Are we going to see a Drunken Haze breath of fire across multiple units? He's going to try and hide in the back. There it is. Level 5. Level 5. Potion of mana could be used again. Let's take a look at this. Is it going to be enough to perhaps finish off any of these units? There is the po oh, Is he going to drunken or is he going to fight back? Yes, he picks up an orb of venom trying to fight down. Demon Hunter is going to go ahead. Drunken Haze breath of fire trying to finish off more units. Squirrel of Town Portal back down as the Panda didn't use his ability until after he scroll of town portaled all right so that was only a level two breath of fire that should be an extra 70 damage across all of the units that were hit earlier all right things still not going well panda is right there trying to fight its way back over junk and haze breath of fire units are going to start to slowly burn to death get tur turned into a crisp panda now backing away has 125 mana getting crucial to that 140 demon hunter going to go ahead and teleport back it's going to be able to teleport back down to the south as the panda is getting up to 140 again wisp are all right there let's take a look drunken haze breath of fire across another group of gargoyles but it wasn't the main group that was hiding back here pcg one two three smart enough to know i do not want to engage with those gargoyles there the breath of fire could have finished them all off and with that said and with that done the hero scores telling how many units that colorful lost in this battle thanks for watching thanks for listening hope you guys enjoyed it